I think four heads are better than just one. And you don't get carried away. It's a real vibe thing with us, you know. We get in the studio and we have a good time and, you know, that's what it's all about, really. On November 4th, 1997, the Spice Girls took world domination to a new level with the release of their second album, appropriately titled Spice World. Now the girls are celebrating in style with a new re-released version of the album, complete with unreleased tracks, remixes, and live performances. Can you say spicy? When you're the nostalgia factor is real. Songs that we write are on our own experiences, you know, whether it's about love, sex, boyfriends, friendship. And, you know, we're sort of the same sort of age group that, you know, people that, the girls that buy our songs, so maybe they can identify with what we're singing about. That's probably what it is, I don't know. No, I think it's down to the fans. I think they like to see people up there having fun who are just like normal, all right? Spice World, the album, sold over 14 million copies worldwide and included four chart-topping singles. But it is also unique for doubling as the soundtrack to their movie of the same name. I mean, were you guys surprised that Spice World was like such a huge, huge movie, such a huge success? I think we were surprised, actually, because, you know, we, when we were doing it, we were just having fun and sort of, like, acting ourselves. And it was good. It was number two in America under Titanic which we were really, really happy about. So it was a very pleasant surprise. Young children are our future, and I think it's about time we started giving them a bit more positive instead of such negative stuff. I know uh -huh. when I was growing up, I wanted to hear about fun, and I wanted to watch people on the telly having a good time. You better watch it, mate. Yeah, and from mm. now on, no more Mr. Nice Spice. Yeah. Huh. yeah. This era in Spice history also saw the girls heading on their first world tour, which made a few Canadian stops in the summer of 98. But without Ginger Spice, who left the group in May of that year. You know, everybody says that, you know, we're still getting on with Jerry, and I mean, we still talk, we're all still friends, and you know, whatever she wants to do, we wish her luck in, and we're sure she'll do great, but we, you know, we still get on well with her, and we do still speak. We haven't seen yeah. her, obviously, for a long time, because we're never been away. Time. She's busy doing her things, but we're also mates at the end of the day. Now, with this anniversary celebration, rumors continue to swirl that 2023 is the year we are finally getting that reunion. I think it would be fab, and I have spoken to Victoria about it too, and I think she'd be up for a glass. I really, really enjoy singing Spice Girls when I'm doing karaoke, but I think I better leave it there. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.